Hello, my darlings. I'm super happy to see you here through the webcam. I can see you all. Wouldn't it be fun if I had a list of names and then I could call out like, hi, hi, everybody, hi. And then you'd all call out, hi, Riggs, hi, hi. And then we'd all feel happy. <laughs> I never know how to start the videos, can you tell? Well, this is our last lecture on heredity. And this class, I, I like it. I like how the content is put together. I like that we build from very small things and we transition to, you know, from understanding tiny molecules and atoms to looking at how those molecules and atoms get put together into cells that actually do these really cool things like go through mitosis and meiosis, do cellular respiration and grow and make more and make babies. And this whole section is about what do those babies look like? Now, I know you've been following along like good little students and doing all the work that you need to do, taking good notes, and probably, hopefully, hopefully at this point, you're looking at heredity and going, it's kind of mathematical, it's kind of logical, <laughs> Kind of makes sense if I can figure out phenotypes and genotypes, I can predict possible gametes. And then I can make a square and do like multiplying stuff and end up with possible offspring. I can interpret this genotype is this phenotype. It's pretty straightforward. You might even feel like, dude, I understand heredity. I understand genetics. Well, I love you. Don't forget that because this lecture is fully designed to show you how all that that you understand, most things don't work that way. And heredity is a bajillion, frenillion, gazillion times more complicated than those patterns that we've learned already in this class. But do not lose heart because I'm gonna break it down for you into little organized clips to slowly build on some non-Mendelian patterns, some, non, some explanations for why we don't see Mendelian patterns, and hopefully an appreciation for how profoundly complex and amazing we critters life is all right probably a good lecture to take your time i'm going to assume that you have all the previous content in your back pocket so there will be review opportunities talking through punnett squares we're going to use them talking through phenotypes and genotypes and alleles and possible gametes we're going to use all that stuff um, so make sure that you are cozy with those concepts and I tried to organize us from easy to hard. Okay, so, so we'll start with the stuff that um, hopefully is pretty logical, but this might be a lecture that you need, to, you need to go a little slower on and take your time with. Okay, let's go look at some um, dominance patterns, some phenotypes associated with dominance that don't quite match what Mendel threw down. <laughs> 